Drive it in a motion, motion Feeling like I'm frozen, frozen I just tryna keep it rolling, rolling Got me feeling like I'm frozen, feeling like I'm frozen Drive it in a motion Alright everyone, this is Zed with another GTA 5 modding tutorial in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to customize the splash screen on the loading page to state any text you like. For example, uh, rather than it saying enter story mode, it could say enter California. You can also change the pause menu screen. I'll be showing you how to change that. For example, changing GTA 5 or Grand Theft Auto 5 to state Grand Theft Auto 6. And you can essentially change any text files within the game on the pause menu, splash page, just to make the game more personal. So to begin, let me show you what my game looks like at the moment. I'll just launch up GTA 5. Now that I'm in the loading screen and we're on the splash page, if you've watched my previous video, I have shown people how to remove the uh, GTA Online box, the black boxes that's here. I've turned that off to show my backgrounds much better so there's not a bunch of text in front of it but what we'll be changing in this video is down at the bottom right here you can see rather than it stating story mode it says launch v reloaded um, all of these lines here they could be changed if i wanted to i'm not sure what to put in their place so i've left them as default um, you could have here for example enter california visit visit california that's that's another example i've used that before and also rather than it's stating loading story mode i've changed it to loading v reloaded assets so you could change it to anything you want you could put visiting california or entering california um it is possible to also change the grand theft auto 5 logo which you see at the bottom left I will make a separate video for customizing the background, the logo, to whichever you decide to use. Um, I will cover that in my next video. But for this video, I'll just be showing you how to change the loading text, the splash screen text, and the pause menu text. I'll just show you what the pause screen looks like. As you can see, this is what my pause menu currently looks like. It states Grand Theft Auto 5. I will be showing you how to change this to whichever text you decide to use. This can be changed, the map, the brief, the stats, the settings, anything can be changed. So let's get into OpenIV and I'll show you how to change it. Now that we're in OpenIV, we need to edit the file. In order to do that, go into your mods folder, update, update rpf if you do not have a update rpf in your mods folder you need to copy it across from your retail folder so go back to gta 5 update with the blue folder update rpf this is where it will state copy to mods folder it won't say show in mods copy it over then go into x64 data lang and it's this one american underscore rel At the top right, type in global, you'll have one result, the global.gxt2 table. Now you can't just drag this file or export it this way and expect to edit it because it is encrypted. As you can see, it's all encrypted. So instead, just delete that one. Instead, right click the file, export to open format text file and select where you want to export it. OpenIV will now decrypt the file and allow you to edit as a text file. Now click on the file. So when you double click it, you'll have this prompt. Now you can either edit it with Notepad, but I do recommend Notepad++ as it's much easier. So just select Notepad or Notepad++, whichever one you want to use. It will now open up the file. As you can see, this is all of the lines that stated for example, game tips, um, stats, game, graphics, pause menu screen, splash screens. This is all controlled in here. So the ones that we want to change specifically is the loading text at the bottom right of the uh, splash screen. 
So to do that, press Control F and it will come up with the find window and you want to find loading underscore s player press enter and you should find it comes up with story mode and this here is the loading story mode that is popped up at the bottom right with the circular loop circle when it's when it's loading so just for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to put visit California and then as it's loading rather than it stay in loading story mode it would say visiting California and for those of you that want to change the Grand Theft Auto 5 at the top left to whichever you want in this case I'm going to put Grand Theft Auto 6 you need to replace now this is why I recommend Notepad++ because it's much easier and you want to find Grand Theft Auto 5 and change it to Grand Theft Auto 6. 6, sorry, not 4. And then click Replace All. As you can see, 75 occurrences were replaced. And this will replace all references of Grand Theft Auto 5 to Grand Theft Auto 6 in the entire game. Save that. You can now close this down. Now don't just drag this file back into OpenIV because it's still decrypted so it won't work and your game will crash. Instead, right click anywhere on this window here and click on import open formats. Select the file we just edited, which is this one. You'll have a prompt window and then click OK. It's now encrypted the decrypt decrypted text file so that the game knows what to load and it won't crash. You can now load GTA 5 and we'll see the changes in game. Now that we're on the launch screen, you can see at the bottom right it states visit California. If you want to know how to remove this box window, just refer to my previous video. I'll leave a link in the description. This allows you to show off your loading screens much better. And if I click on visit California, you'll no notice that it does state visiting California which is the change we made to the line in the global.oxt. And I'll just show you what the pause menu looks like in game. Now that we're in game, I can show you what the pause menu looks like. So as you can see, it states Grand Theft Auto 6 rather than Grand Theft Auto 5. If you wanted to change these lines, brief stats, settings, game online, just control F and then type either game, settings, stats. You'll find the result, make the change, and encrypt it back into OpenIV. Launch the game and the changes will be made. If this video helped, put a like on it. If you want future Grand Theft Auto 5 modern tutorials, make sure to subscribe. And again, just to make everyone aware who aren't aware, I am working on a graphics modification. It's called V Reloaded. The trailer is in production. We've got major YouTubers who's going to be using it. Updates can be found in my Discord. That's discord.gg forward slash v dash reloaded. If you are interested, make sure to join. Thanks for watching.